a cute. Is that my white? These are whitey tighties. Cute boy in boxers cooking breakfast. Whitey tighties. So if you guys follow our other vlogs, you know we are visiting a naturopath. We're like exploring that side of health our health and wellness journey so we already eat a lot of fruit and vegetables but we are stepping it up so we got oranges lots of avocados lots of lemon um citrus is really good for us we need like more vitamin c and then papaya which is like my favorite but that's actually more for clayton for like digestive issues grapefruit we're learning to love grapefruit we have some bananas Tomatoes. We had grapefruit last night for dessert. Oh, like, like visions like of health. Literally. We're, we're really going for it. Okay, and then this is what our fridge is looking like these days. So she's just a stunning produce section. Not this. Stunning produce section. Now, I did some research last night and I learned that you're not supposed to leave. Seal it? Yeah. Huh. But because that's why, you know, like when you see those little jars. That people have in their With fridge. With the holes in yeah, it? Yeah, it has holes Should in we it. get more? Should we get some yeah. of those? Well, and that's how they're stored. You know, you get them from the store. Yeah. Like a plastic container. Let's get some of those. Same with the cherries. So we got uh, blueberries and blackberries. Cherries. Strawberries. These look so good. Grown in Irvine. Local. Uh, I cut pineapple back there last night. Broccoli. broccoli kale, kale. Kale. Asparagus. Carrots. Celery. Broccoli. Cucumber, yeah, some lentils, some coconut coal. Yeah, the coconut coal. This is, uh, we've shared this a lot before, but this is a uh, probiotic. Probiotic yogurt. So yummy. So. And it has like 2 billion probiotics. It has probiotics. 3 grams of sugar in it too, so it's not. How many probiotics? I think it has like 2 7 billion. billion or 7 billion. 25 billion. 25 billion? <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. How? Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> How? We got um, some little peppers, cauliflower, spinach, onions, Brussels. Mushrooms. Everything. We eat some eggs now. We've shared that before um, when we talked about our like current diet. This is some lentil soup we made last night. That's what we got done. And we're doing whole wheat sprouted bread. This is from Alvarado she, Street. Got it at Whole thick. Foods. And it's made in California. Petaluma. Shout out. Shout out Bay Area. Um, yeah. yeah. Visions of health. We're having some cucumber. Tomato. Are we having hummus? Show my nice shopping. Your nice shopping is beautiful. I was boring. Gonna, no, I was gonna say beautiful. It's gorgeous, and it said gorgeous. gorgeous. <laughs> Are we having feta with this too? Yeah. This is what our naturopath doctor recommended us to have: like feta, cucumber, tomato, and then mint and basil in it. Oh shoot! How did you freeze? Silly little goose. So we're gonna try this breakfast. See what it's like. Mint and basil. It's uh, actually, oh, I'm just really in my box for this vlog. Um, we went to Jack's wife, Frida, last time we were in New York. Mm. And this is like a very similar uh, breakfast to the one I had. Yeah, it is. If you guys ever been there. Uh, but mine was served with naan instead of bread. It was. Yeah, two little pieces of naan. And it also had, uh, it had some sauce, not hummus. Maybe it did have hummus, I don't know. Yeah, so this should be pretty good. No, I had like a green homemade hot sauce, remember? Oh yeah, that was so good. Do you think this bread will like soften up once it's in the toaster? I feel like it already is getting soft. Yeah. Do we have to keep it in the fridge? I think so, because it's sprouted. Yeah, that's why it just makes it like a little... It keeps it, keeps it alive, because it's like alive or something. <laughs> kind of like probiotics. Or something. The bread can walk. Okay, that's freaky. Why? We're eating walking bread. It's like the walking dead, but the walking dead. We're getting, we're getting fresh and spicy over here. Some fresh herbs in our breakfast. I love that for us. Yeah, this is nice. Like the goal is basically to have our house be a producer. Yeah. And I think that was kind of one of the main, like when we wanted to go back to the naturopath, or not go back, start it, is just to get some more input on what we can do. And we've always been super healthy and ate a lot of fruits and vegetables, but this has brought it back to our uh, top of mind. Yeah, we could still be better, so we're, we're making little adjustments where we can. Voila! Stun buns! Just a cute little brekkie. Yay! Thanks, babe. Okay, guys. Today, I am going to chop my hair off. 
If you followed along for a while, you probably remember when I had short hair a few years ago and I loved it. I had like a bob cut. It was like, was it at my chin? Or yeah, it was like at my mm -hmm. chin, right? Very short. And I loved it. It was super fun and like sassy. I feel like it fit my personality and my personal style really well. But then I also like longer hair and I like mid-length hair a lot actually, which I never thought I used to, but it's really good length in my opinion. So I've been growing my hair out for a couple years now and you guys know I take those hair vitamins. They work so well. They have made my hair grow so fast. I literally just cut off like two inches last time I went. So I'm kind of at like a mid long length now, but they work super well. So obviously with hair, it always grows back. It's not a big deal to cut it in my opinion. I'm not like super attached to my hair, but I just kind of wanted to like enjoy the longer hair while I had it. I didn't want to cut it like right away after growing it out. So I feel like I've enjoyed it enough and now I'm kind of over it. It's like getting in the way of things. And when I go to yoga and Pilates, I feel like it's like always in my face. And like when it was longer, it was like coming through my armpit when I was sleeping and stuff. I don't know. Which is it's just getting in the way. It's just a lot. And sometimes I just want change. Like I've literally always said that I've been obsessed with change since I was younger. So it's true and here we are we're ready for a change so i'm gonna chop it off and i'm gonna bring you guys to the salon with me i'm gonna go see aubrey again one of my girls down here and i also love all my other hairstylists i always give that disclaimer because it's like there's no drama there's no issue i love them all i just like to bop around and get all of their work because they're all so talented so yeah that's what we're gonna do today so i'm very excited okay guys i'm here we're gonna get going. I don't even really have an inspo picture, so I was just looking like in my hair folder on saves, and I think I, this is saved from like months and months ago. It's, I don't really come with the inspo, but I just want to go for it. So, okay, I really like this cut. Okay, that's this is Aubrey. You guys know Aubrey. Hi guys, <laughs> back again. Yeah, so like shoulders. And you can get the is this just the rough cut too? Yes, it's just the rough cut. Uh -oh. I know this is the we're going, we're going shorter than this. Did you decide your uh, oh yeah I was, blondness yet? No. Well, we're just going like really like blonde. as blonde as possible. As blonde as possible. Yeah, as blonde as possible. What does that mean, guys? We'll see. We'll see what it goes. <laughs> right, we'll see when we get there. Yeah. Just like dunk the head bleach. in bleach. Pretty much. There you go. Bleach shower. But I was trying to show the vlog my inspo before the. Um, That's the cut. Yeah, I like that cut. That's a nice cut. But her hair is brunette. Mm -hmm. That's brunette hair. Right? Blonde version. Yeah. <laughs> like three hundred before. Look at that big. It's a lot of hair. That is wild. All right, you got this. Yay! <laughs> it's about time. Peace out, hair. Yeah, you really grew that out for a while. I did. I think this is the longest you've had your hair. I know. I was holding on, but then I'm like, I can't do it anymore. So. It'll be nice for summer too. I know. I'm I know. Excited. It's gonna be nice. Two sides. Before. After. Look at that. Look at this hair. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. Wait, where did it go? Oh, it's all right there. Mm. You guys. What do you think you'll have to put on? Chop. And now we're gonna dye it. For the color, we're just going super blonde. So my hair is really crazy. I haven't washed it in like eight days probably. That's why it looks like this right now. But we're just coiling absolutely everywhere.
I know I should have worse and I forgot to, I don't know why I'm standing in front of that one, it's like literally too bright. I forgot to show you my hair like right after I got it cut the other day because I was literally like overstimulated. I was just like really excited about my hair and then um, I was like in a rush afterwards, I had a meeting. <laughs> And then we had a dinner with friends and like I was literally just like blah, 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 blah. So I forgot to show you until now. So I just woke up. I'm at my grandma's house now. We went on a little trip. We flew to Reno yesterday. For, we'll be here for the weekend for Mother's Day. And if you guys don't know, my grandparents are literally my favorite people on earth. So I haven't seen them for a couple months and I'm just like so happy to be here. So that my hair turned out. You guys probably already saw on Instagram or TikTok, but if you didn't, it's just a little bob situation. I will text Aubrey and see what she says for exactly what we did. I just cut it like short, like in between my chin and my shoulders, so like mid neck. And we, it's like a blunt, like bob but we had to thin a ton of it because my hair is very thick and it's already like pretty poofy you know you guys can see like, it's just so like poofy so if we didn't thin it out it would be like a triangle kind of which it didn't want so we thinned it a ton um it doesn't have layers really it's just like thinned out if that makes sense so she takes that thing where it's like and then for the color i just wanted to go blonder um, cause I've been doing like a bit more of like a natural dirty blonde color for the last couple of sessions, but I wanted to go blonder for short, but it's still, I feel like I could go even blonder. So I'm gonna have to put some more bleach in there eventually. And this is it just like round brush blow dried. So kind of like Dyson vibes. And I'm gonna curl it today for the first time. I just have my absolute ride or die go to curling hair, the Eva NYC one. I feel like, how do I even curl my short hair? I don't want them. Like, do I curl these pieces down here? Like, not really, right? They're too short to curl. I can't curl that. I'm not curling that. Okay, this should be interesting. Let's see how this goes. Oh, there's the short little bits to curl. It's kind of funny. Okay, I'm not gonna like bore you guys through this whole process. I'm just gonna go do this off camera and I'll show you. Here's the curls. The final product. Oh, okay. I know we're good. Cute, right? So I like cute, it. babe. I love it. She's so poofy. Poofy, loofy, doofy. I love it when it's curled at this length. It's fun, right? Looks so good. Aubrey slayed it. Thank you, Aubrey. I love it. It feels like so fun. Hope I didn't close Fresh. My so we are, we're in town um, in Reno, we're seeing family, and then we like to see our friends when we're here too, well especially me, like all my friends are still here pretty much, um, including his friends with like all yeah. of them too. So we're going to my friend Becca's birthday party today, she was my roommate in college and we've been friends. Roommate when we first met. Yeah, she was, like we all used to hang out together yeah. and then I've been friends with her since I was born. Like our moms grew up together. Our grandparents actually grew up together. That's just like the vibe here in Reno. We're going to her birthday party. It's Kentucky Derby style. I think I already said that on the vlog, but I don't remember. We're not on theme. We're not on theme, but we are gonna go pick up. Um, so it's our niece's birthday, her first birthday today. I'm obsessed with her. She's the cutest baby on earth. And we're gonna go pick up a little present for her. And I think we're just gonna go to Macy's. We were gonna go to like a we've little. Never, we've never baby shopped before. Online we have a little bit. Online we have. For like. Never Macy's in person. So we don't really know where to go. Well, I wanted to go to like a cute little boutique. Cause like there for sure is one, but I'm not in the know here at this point in my life. So I don't know where it is. And we're just kind of like late on time now. So we're just gonna go to Macy's. And then I think we'll just like pick up something for Becca too, maybe like a perfume or something. So just go pick those things up and then we'll go stop by Becca's and then we'll go out to my, it's my stepsister's baby. So we'll go to her house and see my dad and my stepmom and all of them. And then I'm not sure what we'll do. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not sure if you can see cars or not, can you? You can see that little red, red rocket. Interesting. 
You look so cute today. Thanks, babe. I like your outfit. My hair is doing well. I think last vlog I was complaining about my hair. But what then, I think I needed to do was put a little gel in it. Yeah, it, it then, looks good when you do it. But so I did. I, I didn't put any extra gel in it today, but I put gel in it like a two lot, days ago. Yeah, it like a lot. And now there's still probably just a little in there that's making it less frizzy. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. It might be like because I don't I don't wash my hair. I, don't know, I think we share this. I, I don't shampoo and condition my hair. I do like once a month. Yeah, it gets like so poofy it's when he like, does it's it. It's crazy. So it I might don't do be, that. So then uh, when I wash, I still put water in my hair, but all of the gel probably doesn't come out. You know. It might be part of the like humidity climate. and dry mat. Yeah. yeah. Dry mat. Dry mat. <laughs> dry mat. Um, but it looks good. Oh, we also started. Not we, you, I started making you do some affirmations about your hair. Yeah, and I think it's coming true. Cause he'll be like, oh my hair is thinning and so ugly. I don't even know what you say. And then no, I make, I just show you it and you're like, stop. And then I make him say, what do I make you say? I have beautiful, gorgeous hair. And what else? Uh, my hair is. I have thick hair. I have, thick I have hair. lots of hair. I have lots of hair. I love my hair. I say a lot of positive things. Yeah, and now look at look at all this yeah, hair growth suddenly, you've experienced. Suddenly, I just have tons of hair. I also started making him take my hair vitamins. That's good stuff. Because he was complaining about it all the time, and I'm like, showed him pictures because I don't have thin hair. I've always had like really thick hair, um, but those vitamins make my hair grow so fast. And also, there is like before and after pictures on their website of what it can do for like thinning hair, like people have pictures of like their hairline and then it like fills in yeah. so i showed him those pictures and i was like just take this vitamin every day it's so easy so yeah. we're doing that it's a little it's it's a long hair but i like your outfit today when we're out walking i'll try to open the vlog and show them because you look really cute Thanks. we'll see how we'll see if i remember to open the vlog for anything i mean hopefully i show you our niece because at least the niece she's so freaking cute Okay, we've entered the baby section here at Macy's. We've entered Babyville. It's mariachi day here. I think they're doing a little Cinco de Mayo celebration. So if you hear the trumpets in the back, they're just vibing downstairs. What's okay. Your vibe? What is Kalea's vibe? Like these over here? That is so cute. You gotta get the right one. Like this one's 18 months. 24 or no? That'd be too old, but she can grow into it. Okay, they don't have any 12s, but like, wow. What the age? biggest they have is six to nine. What age is this one? This one looks big. That's 24. Ah. Uh, okay. I love that one. All right, well, they got tons. Oh, yeah, this little one. Um, I don't like that one. No? Much. We're going to have difficulties dressing our baby then. Why? Because I'm going to want to dress it some way, and you're going to dress it another way. I'm gonna say I want her in this little tennis skirt. That's like mm -hmm. so diapery. Diapery. It's got a diaper built into it. Wait, this is cute. Way to go, kiddos. 18 months, you can grow into that. That's a good one. I don't know about those pink leggings. Do we just get her a little toy? The toys are pretty cute. A little unicorn or what is this? Anybody know what that is? What the heck is that? Alright, while well, I was looking at the unicorns, Delaney seems to have found some stuff. Okay. What'd you find? What do you think? There's this option. Okay. Because she's Hawaiian. Mm hmm. So, like, it's kind of has like a little. It's pretty cute. Yeah, I think it's not, it's not like soft enough, though. We need her feeling comfy. Like, is she gonna be comfy in this? I don't know. Some options. I mean, that's pretty cute. Summer, summer picnic. Right. I also just saw something else. This one's really cute. That one's really cute. Ooh, that feels soft, comfy. Um, this one's kind of cute. Oh, that one's really cute. It's 12 months. Yeah. Like that? Uh-huh. Okay, this is cute, and then, which ones of these? Okay, so this. I feel like this one isn't soft enough. Yeah. Sorry. This one? Is this like chewy? A little bit, like yeah. Sorry, baby. We're not going to be chewy. Okay, maybe these three? Yeah, and then the unicorn? Okay. Unicorn's cute, right? Yeah, I think like a floppy one? Yeah, floppy okay. for show. 
Okay. Got it? Yes. Happy birthday, dear Kalea. Happy birthday to you. So bad. The other day he was, I turned around and he was, uh, had his pants down and was peeing in the ground. Are you me? And I said, hey, I said, what are you doing? I was like, can you go pee somewhere else? He's like, no. I turned around like, watch the way. That sounds like an addict. Okay, leave now. I love you. Why were I excited? Me or that? <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't want to do that. Okay. What do you want to say then? Do you have any public service announcement? Public service announcement on Mother's Day. Love your mom or anybody who is like a mom. Have a Mother's Day. End it. <laughs> Make it stop. I need to get I need to get Kalea. <gasps> Happy birthday, bestie! <laughs> we love you. You're perfect. Are you ready for this? Are you on the way? She's perfect. I love her. Yeah, jam jams. Oh. Baby Cam. Oh, yep, she's perfect. Show us your pictures of your grandfather. Show us your favorite one from today. You have the cutest baby ever and the cutest yes. daughters ever. Here's the three cutest daughters ever. Cutest granddaughter. How lucky am I to have all of them? Best kids ever. And. <laughs> Best son-in-law ever. Do you want to see him? So cute. What, should it, they have babies? Don't you all think Clayton and Lainey should have a baby? Come on. Because look at how cute they would be as parents. Come on. The best aunt and uncle. Have babies. <laughs> have babies. That's what you Don't wanted you, to come on here. I know what I want to say. Don't you think Lainey and Clayton should have a baby? Let's take a poll and find out. What do you guys think? Wouldn't they have the cutest baby ever? Yes. They're the best aunt and uncle. Good morning. Good morning. That's a pretty nice dash for vlogging. Digital dash. Grandma's whip. We picked up uh, coffees this morning from Bebo's. I got a chai. Like our favorite. Uh, it's one of our. We yeah, love the box. Top three. Too. Top three. Top four. Yeah. Got the box. Which Reno is the has roost. like good. Got some good food drinks. and. Oh yeah, really coffee. good food. Yeah. You know where to go. And bars. We'll just reload that one more. Yeah. Actually, Delaney is using this new app too called Out of Office. That she's like putting all of our uh, recommendations for Reno on there, and she's gonna start putting like all of the other. It's basically like Orange County, LA. Like it's basically everywhere. like blog posts on an app kind of of like trips so whenever people ask me like oh where do you guys like to eat in reno or like we used to live in the bay area people mm -hmm. ask for that or like orange county or la like all the places that we've lived so you just make like a list for each place so here's my reno list and it has like all of my recommendations and then it has like where they are and um it says like what I put like a she little note special notes like of what, like what we order there when we go what there, we like, what yeah. we like there. So and I think you can also put really cool. places to stay. So like when we go, yes, we're gonna go to Florida okay, later yeah, this look. month. We're still like learning how to use it, but it's it has a tab for eat and drink, stay, do or shop. Oh, and shop nice. So since we like go on so many trips and I'm like so bad at keeping up on my blog, I think this is perfect. So um, yeah, it's, awesome. it's called Out of Office. I have a link I'll put in the description box for you guys if you want to see my recs on places. I made one for Reno though. Yep. So we got good food and drinking. You know our spots. But I'm also only having one coffee a week right now. Mm -hmm. And it's been every Sunday. So ever nice since we treat. ever since we went to the holistic uh, what would you call it, naturopath? Yeah. Whatever. She recommended I don't drink coffee, but I didn't want to completely stop yeah. because it's just like I still want to enjoy we're like, we're it's implementing a in a way that works for us so that we feel like it's sustainable yeah. and we're not just going to be like 
going crazy drinking and then be like, oh my god, we're having everything. Only eating vegetables. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and never drinking anything. But so uh, I'm having my once a week coffee. So it's a nice little treat for me. We also got first latte bagels. in like probably two weeks. Yep, Which is Crocky one of bagel our is our favorite bagel places in town. That might list. be my fave. Top two, there's two. There's yeah, two. it's really Look good. Look at this strawberry cream cheese. It's mm. like the cutest color ever. Mm. So good. This is not what the naturopath told me to eat. <laughs> she actually did tell me to eat dairy though. The little dairy. For my bones. Uh, yeah, so yesterday was the couple parties. Mm. I don't think we vlogged that much. She actually did tell me to eat this, I just realized. Whole wheat. Yeah, she said we should have whole wheat. And she said I need more dairy for calcium. So, Look what up? Here you go. I didn't mean to ask Sun you. Sun just came back out, so we're a little glowy. Put the glow screen on, goop. Ring Today. goop goes glow screen. But yeah, so yesterday we went to the couple of birthday parties. Mm -hmm. We didn't really vlog that much because it was just very family and yeah the first one we were just catching up with like all our friends a bunch of college friends and no even like for you childhood friends mm -hmm. and i just like didn't pull my camera out obviously um and then we were just doing like baby time and baby then time. you guys saw um my stepmom she's so funny she's so cute she's always like i want to be on the vlog and then i open the vlog and she gets really like she's shy. camera shy so she's she's cute. not a shy person though she's the funniest like greatest person ever i'm obsessed with her bestie turned one mm -hmm. it was cute bestie has stranger danger yeah well stranger she, danger. we don't get to see her that much so like she didn't remember us and she she kind of only lets like my stepmom my dad and her parents hold her mm -hmm. like she kind of has stranger danger otherwise so i did get to hold her for a little while um and she was all right but like I think she, I missed she that. used to not be like that. I missed that clip. I missed that. Mm -hmm. We were busy mingling. It was cute though. It was fun. It's She's fun. perfect. Talk My stepsister's pregnant with a little boy. Bestie number two mm -hmm. on its way. We're going to have two besties soon. <laughs> so, yeah. Today's Mother's Day. You know, in the vlog, I think Annalisa was saying we should have babies, but then, uh -huh. then she says she said... Off camera? Off camera. Off camera? You know what she said to me? She said something different than she said on camera. She said maybe be an aunt and uncle is the way to do it. She said, do you want to have babies? And I was like, I don't really know. And she was like, maybe it's better just to be an aunt and uncle, to be honest. <laughs> and I was like, where's the lie? Just feel a little tired. You even feel some bestie? Yeah. I miss her already. Mm-hmm. <laughs>